In the world of risky business, it didn't get any riskier for the Patriots than when they picked Aaron Hernandez and then signed him long term, as we know. Kevin DuPont for Globe 10.0 here with Dan Shaughnessy. Dan, the question is, did, does the Aaron Hernandez model, if we want to call it that, experience change behavior down in Foxborough in terms of who they get, who they sign, who they go with? I think they have to be very careful. If there's any kind of a resume of off-field behavior or suspicion, they need to be very careful because this is going to get a little bit worse for them. It's, it's kind of gone away yep. since the arrest, but there's going to be a trial and there's going to be depositions, and you might see Bill Belichick on the stand, people talking about flop houses and whatnot. So you can't have a lot of people in the roster. You know, they have a player who's in jail right now. He's, served, he's doing his time. So I don't think they want to invite more of that with this year's draft. So I would say they're going to go with the Tebow model as they move forward into this, into this draft right. and player acquisitions and free agents. Of course, the question being, of course, even if that is your mantra, you want to bring in good guys, and we, you know, this goes back with them, back to Christian Peter, right, in terms of oh, sure. looking over guys' resumes and look, judging their character. It's one thing to say it, but really, how do you vet it? Well, it's hard to do. I mean, the Hernandez thing, and again, Bob Kraft says we were duped. Yep. That's all well and good. But they know things down there. I mean, if somebody is in a strip club, if somebody is out and about, they know it. They get calls. They hear about it. Yeah. They're, they're pretty. They've been there a long time. And of course, that's after they've been they're drafted. Very the connected right. into the neighborhood. So, and I mean, Bill Belichick has friends at a lot of these. You know, he knows he had Nick Saban. I mean, they they go back, so they can find out stuff about. You know, talk to players, talk to coaches, talk to scouts. You can vet. I mean, you can never know everything. No, people, people are married to people and don't know things. We yeah. understand that, but. They can do better, and they have to do better. Yeah, and, and I would say if he is guilty, and every, we all assume he is, but we still have to be fair here. He still has to go through the process. There, there's no way you can own a team, be the general manager, have your nine personnel guys judging guys, and truly know evil. Because that's what, if that's what he's done, that's evil. Right. There's, you know, there's, there's all sorts of drug charges and domestic stuff. Murder is evil. Yeah, there's going to be questions moving forward if this thing goes in a bad way for them. Not to mention the double murder accusation, which happened prior to him playing a full season of football for them. Yeah. yeah. Easier said than done, but it, you would have to think the Patriots going into free agency and draft are going to be much smarter, much more in tune to who these people are.